get on with it then. Um, I'm a bit cold. Um, okay, so I've done all of my skincare situations, which I will leave details of in the description box down yonder. So excited. I've literally had this sat up there for months. Okay, so we've got finally the Unicorn Cosmetics brush set. This is so gorgeous. It is such a gorgeous set, so I'm so excited to use it. So the box in itself is absolutely stunning. Isn't it cute? I love it. Like, I just think as well, the packaging for me is part of it. Like, how it's presented and I kind of, you kind of feel a bit like there's a bit more care gone into it. There's a bit more thought gone into it. There's a bit more um, of a creative process gone into it rather than just, yeah, I'll just slap my name on some brushes and send them out. And inside we've got some extra goodies as well. So let's just crack on. Can I just say though, how beautiful is she this like just absolute unicorn warrior goddess situation going on total hair goals as well by the way we get a little selfie frame how cute is that there is also some artwork of the girl that's featured on the inside of the box oh also there was this little extra gift with it as well which is a cute little like pouch with a little key ring situation that says I'm so extra which I don't I don't know if I don't know if y'all would say I was extra lots of other people do though so you know <laughs> and I've not even got tether brushes what which come in this beautiful pink glitter diamond case with the Unicorn Cosmetics logo in there. What I really like as well, like I said about the box, it's those extra details for me. Um, we've even got like, little unicorns on the zip, pull bits of the zip, the handles. So I'm loving that. It's just those extra details that I really like. Look. Ah, oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Are you all blind now? Hello. Oh. Absolutely beautiful case. It can, you know, the theme goes on on the inside. It's brilliant. I like and we've got a mixture of face and eye brushes as well. Let's just crack on, shall we? And get my face off. What do I want to use for primer? I think I'm going to use this one, which is the flat foundation-ified one. Um, ooh, it's a little bit of like dust coming off it, you see? Um, bit weird. The bristles feel so bloody soft. Like... The uh, ferrule and the handle feel really solid and secure. These feel really secure. This one does anyway. Speaking of good quality, let's get the uh, Fenty primer on, shall we? I've totally changed my skincare regime at the moment, which let me know if you want me to do a video about because it was all about kind of improving the texture of my skin, um, which I didn't think would work as well as it has. But oh my God, what a difference. It has maybe soaked up a little bit of the product. I'm just going to pop a little bit just onto those problem areas with my fingers. Um, I do normally have to put an extra bit of primer down on these areas anyway. But obviously it's an expensive primer is the Fenty one. So I do not want to waste it. While that's sinking in, doing its business, blurring out all my regrets and uh, dehydration, um, I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in C05 because I'm going to go and do my eyeshadow first. Um, I've run out of my peach corrector, so that's making me sad. And I'm just going to use the same brush that I used for my primer just to um, tap that out and blend that out. Okay, so that's kind of taken off a little bit of the primer and not quite made it an even texture so i'm just going to grab the brush that i normally use for that to bear with look can you see how that's just making it a lot more even rather than getting rid of it right so hopefully that was just a case of the primer or the concealer not quite going with the brush and hopefully that's not a taste of things to come so let's get onto eyeshadow and get rid of this like reverse raccoon look that i've got going on right so i've got parents evening at college today so i think i'm just gonna go for a neutral every day don't scare the teachers look so i'm just using my nyx what's this one called is it warm neutrals yeah the nyx warm neutrals palette which i love so what brush shall we use okay no dust came off that one that time so that's good yeah, nothing off that one either. How weird that the first two were really dusty. Sure, what do we want? I think I will keep it quite warm actually. So I'm going to go in with this one. 
Okay, it's picking up a nice amount. Ooh. Okay, so bear in mind, I've used this palette before. I feel like this is really picking up an amazing amount of product and then stamping it straight onto the eye without any kind of, you know, loss of pigment or anything like that. It's not kind of staying on the brush. I think I'm just going to do this eye on camera and then I'll go off and do the other one and then we'll come back, otherwise it's going to take ages. Right, and then I'm going to flip the brush round and use the other side and I'm going to go into... I think I'm going to mix uh, this one and this one and just get like a really nice warm coppery colour and then run that through the rest of my crease. Tell you what, it's putting the product exactly where I want it as well. It's not kind of splaying out and it's, you know, ending up above or below. Love it. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to the other one, the um, fluffier one, and then I'm just going to go in and blend. Oh, it's so soft. Okay, so I'm noticing that the bristles are so flexible that as I'm trying to kind of do, you know, the blending motions, either circular or the windscreen wiper motions, the bristles are kind of just bending rather than coming with. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to do... Um, or shall I? I'm wondering whether to do a proper cut crease. Yeah, let's cut the crease. Okay, so again, with my uh, Revolution Conceal and Hydrate, what I love about this is if you scrape off kind of the excess around there, the shape of this works brilliantly to just cut the crease. Okay, so we've then got a really nice kind of domed flat brush that feels perfect putting on the uh, lid shade. So I'm going to be using this one, which is a lovely kind of light coppery colour. Oh my god, this is going to be my new favourite lid brush, I can already tell. That is just packing it straight on and exactly where I want it to be. Okay, loving that. That's one of those shades as well where you don't feel like there's much going on and then once you kind of look at it properly, it's a really nice colour. Right, so where's the other one? Okay, so no extra product. I'm just going to go back to the one that we did the darker outer corner in and just go down that line and just stamp it in and just blend it a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to go back to the big blending brush and just go over the crease. Right, loving that one. Okay, let me just go and do the other side and then we'll come back and we'll uh, put the face on. Right, so I've gone and done both eyes. I've gone and done my eyeliner and my mascara on my upper lashes. Um, this, don't panic about this, this is just kind of where I go and tidy up under with more concealer and I've just blended that out, so don't panic next got foundation i'm going to mix two of them so i've got the fenty pro filter original mattifying one and then i've got the fenty pro filter hydrating foundation okay then i'm going to use this brush i'm not sure what this one is for however i like to use kind of a small round densely packed brush just to get on the foundation let's do that then shall us I'm really hoping i like the face brushes better than the eye brushes because they were a little bit tricky to work with um this one didn't have all the weird fibers coming out of it it was maybe a little plume of very fine dusty stuff but nothing like the others all right so far this is actually spreading really nicely and this is me not going overboard for parents evening i really like this one for getting into the corner there love it loving that one so far right i'm just gonna go and dampen a beauty sponge and just go over the top with that just because of the texture on my skin because it's really dehydrated at the minute and um, just to kind of press that in a little bit and then we'll get onto contour and powder and all the rest of that good jazz Then I'm going to use this one, which I'm very, very excited about because look at it. It looks like a little blue ice cream cone. It's so cute. And oh my God, the fluff. It just as in like it's fluffy. There's nothing coming off it like on the other brushes. It is one of the softest brushes I've ever felt. It is gorgeous. So I'm very looking forward to using this with powder. So let's get the powder out. Um, I'm going in with the Jeffree Star Magic Star Powder in Fair which is just my new favourite obsession. So, even though my skin is feeling a little bit oily at the moment, that's because it's dehydrated and um, normally I'm more on the drier side. So I do go in with um, a brush with foundation, not foundation, help me, powder. I go in with a brush with powder rather than um, a sponge because the sponge just makes it cling to my dry bits and it just does a lot nice. So I like dusting with a brush if you've got dry skin. 
works really well. So I'm just going to dip him in there. Oh my god, the smell of this. The smell. Ooh, and I like the little taper, again, gets right into the corners. Oh my god, that is like, look, the pointed bit of it gets right in underneath my eye. Oh, we're having a foundation's not sticking to my nose situation again. Okay, that's my favourite brush so far. Without a doubt, hands down, that's my favourite brush. Definitely. Oh. Right, um, let's get some like dimension and colour back, shall we? Um, okay, so I'm going to contour, not bronze, I'm going to contour with the contour and glow set from Revolution. And I'm going to use... This little cheeky little number here, which very reminds me of the Fenty one. Um, so it kind of hugs your cheekbone there, which for little old me, this side I'm not so bad on cheekbones, but this one is a totally different shape and I struggle to find like the right place. But this just kind of sits there and you exactly get the right place. And if you can see, I've only put it on the bottom half because when I do that, I just kind of want it to get that contour underneath the cheekbone. And then I'm going to go in with the top half to do some um, highlighty work. I don't know, I'm looking in this like it's got a mirror. I'm like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, look at that. <gasps> oh, I like it. Oh. Yeah, and even when I look in my mirror in real life, it's not like it's left it really muddy. That's just blending it really nicely. Oh, it's even brilliant for the nose. <sighs> okay. Right, loving that one. Uh, what highlighter shall I use? I think I'm just gonna use the highlighter from this palette. Um, so I tend to use this one. So I'm gonna go in with the top half of this. Oh, very subtle. Love it. Oh, that is really nice. Okay, if you're somebody that likes your highlighter a little bit more subtle, that is perfect. Oh, I was gonna use this one for highlight as well, wasn't I? Right, let's dip into this one then and see if we can build it up a little bit. Big brush. Ooh, that's nice. Like it's not too blinding. There's definitely a bit more to it there though because the brush is a lot denser. Oh, it's a cute little highlight brush is this one. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the eye palette for a minute. I'm just going to go underneath uh, on the lower lash line and then stick some mascara on the bottom there. And I'm going to use this little flat brush just for underneath so I can really, really get in. Oh, there's little bits coming off it again. Yeah, this weird little fibers coming off. <sighs> okay, they seem to be done now. Um, right, so I'm gonna go in with this one, just underneath, and then I'm gonna go in with the darker one, just on the outer corner, exactly the same as we did with the actual eye as well. Oh, this is so precise for this. Because I've got curly eyelashes, usually I go in with a brush and I can't get right up to the lash line because the eyelashes just get in the way. But this is getting right up underneath them. Getting all the way there, which I love. Okay, that's the eyes complete, apart from the brows, but I'll do them in a minute. Um, I'm gonna use this brush again and just go in with a bit of bronzer. Because I just feel like I could do with just warming up a little bit. And I might have wanted to just use this brush again. Oh, I love this brush. This is like epic for powders. And now I've used the Jeffree Star powder. It smells like cotton candy, so even better. Oh, Ooh. yep, that feels a little bit better. Right then. Right, I think it's just lips and eyebrows, which I can't really use a brush for because I'm going to use a pencil. So, bear with. Gonna go just do my brows and my lips, and then we'll come back and I'll talk through this set and we'll, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have a chat about what I think because I've had a few mixed opinions, so just give me a sec. 
All right, there we go. Brows on, lips on, feeling much better. Um, if you want to know what I use for brows and lips, I'll just leave everything in the description because I want the focus to be on the unicorn cosmetics stuff. What did we think of the old unicorn brushes business? Um, a little bit hit and miss, I'll be honest, for me. And I hate saying that because I just wanted to be so like a ray of sunshine about it. Like I've been so excited to get this out and use it that um, I kind of wanted to be all like, yes, this is amazing. Um, you know, I'm really like absolutely buzzing about it. I think um, the design was brilliant. I think uh, the presentation of everything was absolutely spot on. Um, the brushes that I did like were the littler blending brush that we kind of stamped on the outer vehicle with, um, the big fluffy powder brush, loved that. Really enjoyed the shape of this one that I used for foundation so that I could get into uh, the corners of my eyes. That was really, really good. And I felt like it kind of spread the product around really, really well too. I also really liked the contour, the shaped contour brush um, for kind of getting into my weirdly uh, non-existent cheekbone on that side of my face. Um, the other ones I was a little bit disappointed with, like for instance, the blending brush that I used on my eyes, I just found it a little almost flimsy. It like, you had to be very, very particular with the, the way you used it and the pressure. Um, otherwise it kind of just bent and then flicked off again and um, that then made it not the easiest brush to blend with in the world. So I've definitely got brushes that I would reach for before this one for blending, definitely. Um, what other ones was I a little bit about? Um, this one for primer didn't quite do what I wanted it to do with primer, particularly on the eyes. Um, and it is the same type of brush that I have used before with the primer, so the only one i haven't used is this angled eyebrow brush and that was only because i was using a pencil for my eyebrows not one of the pomades where i'd need a brush for it so it's kind of surplus to requirements really um so yeah i mean all in all i like it um the majority of the brushes i found something that i liked um the powder brush i think was hands down my favorite though that was like just awesome texture of the brushes so soft so nice weird little fibers coming off on some of them um but i presume that's kind of first use and maybe a bit of you know trimmings or whatever um once i've kind of pinged them off they all went it was fine there's nothing left on my face there's no more coming off um so i think it's just a case of first time use the case and everything is so well made it's so nice so well presented it's really good quality so yeah a little bit hit and miss but on the whole i really like it and i'm really really happy that i finally used it yeah um, let me know what you think down in the comments. What did you think? Have you used Unicorn Cosmetics brushes before? Is the kind of the fluffy bits coming off it just normal first time use situation? Is that just where we're going? Um, yeah, let me know what you think of the whole packaging, of the little artwork that came with it. I love it so much. Yeah, let me know what you think of this look. I am now off to parents' evening, so hopefully my eldest is doing a fabulous job at college and the teachers are helping and supporting and we can crack on and get into year two ready for those exams. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed. If you've made it this far into one of my testing videos, you might as well subscribe. I mean, you just might as well. What are you doing? Especially if you've watched like two or three. I mean, come on, just join the family. Come on. Join the Layla Landers and have an amazing time. Um, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, go and click subscribe, get your notifications switched on. If you don't know what that means, click on the bell uh, next to the subscribe bit. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. I love you very much. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.